a hearty soup from the mountains in central Mexico. Welcome. <laughs> oh, I'm so great. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. When people think about Mexican food, the first thing to come to mind is definitely not mushroom soup. But today we're going to show you a delicious mushroom soup made with chili guajillo. I am very passionate about the richness and diversity of Mexican food. It's so much more than tacos, enchiladas, black beans and rice. The soup that we're about to make is from a part of Mexico you might not know about. The mountains in the center of the country where the weather is cold and the market food is made to warm you from head to toes. The two Mexican ingredients in this soup are chili guajillo and etazote. Chili guajillo is a dried chili that is flavorful but not spicy. And epazote is a healthy herb that's used in a lot of Mexican cuisine. We have some photos here of the mountains near Mexico City. Guillermo, can you tell us the names of two of the mountains near Mexico City? One is Popocatépetl. Popocatépetl. Can you say that? And the other one is Iztaccíhuatl. Iztaccíhuatl. Now you say that. Here we have Guillermo with his long hair on Iztaccíhuatl. And here we have, from 1942, Guillermo's grandpa, Felipe Reyes, and his great uncle, Ramon Reyes, also on Iztaccíhuatl. And here they are with their mountaineering group. Rinse your mushrooms well, but do it quickly. Don't leave them to soak because they absorb water. Spread them out on a tea towel and let them dry for a couple of minutes. Slice the mushrooms. You'll need to cook your mushrooms in batches, adding more oil to the pot each time. Add oil to a hot frying pan and add the mushrooms. Cook the mushrooms on high for about two minutes until they are browned. Put the mushrooms aside in a bowl for later. Slice an onion. It doesn't matter how you chop it, as you'll be blending it later. Add oil to a pot on medium heat. Add the onion and cook, stirring occasionally, until it is soft and translucent and the edges are beginning to brown, about three minutes. Roughly slice two cloves of garlic. Add to the pot and stir. Cook for under a minute. Slice open each of the three wajillo chilies and remove the seeds. This step is important as the seeds have a bitter taste. Cook the chilies for about four minutes until they turn a deep red. Add salt and stir. Then add a half cup of water and put the lid on. Reduce the heat to medium low and cook for about 10 minutes until the chilies are soft. Add the mixture to a blender or mix with a hand blender. Puree until smooth. Add oil to a hot pot on medium. Strain the puree. Cook for three minutes. Blend the whole tomatoes. You can use a pound of fresh tomatoes instead of canned tomatoes. Add to the pot and salt again. Cook for 10 minutes on medium, then add the mushrooms. If you have fresh epazote, tie it in a bundle and add it now. Add the broth and stir. If you have dried epazote, you'll add it as the last step. You can substitute three bay leaves or one branch of fresh rosemary for the epazote. You would add them now. Reduce the heat and simmer on low for another half hour. If you don't have fresh epazote, remove the leaves from the dried epazote stalks. Grind the leaves with a mortar and pestle to make a fine powder. Strain out any remaining bits of stock. Add to the pot and stir. Check your seasoning and add salt if needed. The soup is ready. You can serve it with lime wedges and avocado slices. It's delicious. 
Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like this video and subscribe to our channel.